my name is Bill Evans, and I'm very fortunate over the years to have had a chance to play with some really great musicians. When I was 21 years old, I was introduced to Miles Davis, and that really started off uh, my career. So from there, I was able to play with people like Herbie Hancock and John McLaughlin. And uh, what I learned from Miles Davis, a lot of people ask me this question, and he inspired me to believe in my own ideas, to, to really trust in my own judgment as far as music is concerned. We became really good friends, and so I helped him and inspired him to allow me to get the guys for the band. So with Marcus Miller and John Schofield and Mike Stern, were recommendations from me, so we had that kind of relationship. If you want to really be like Miles, be like yourself, because that, that would be like being like Miles. I've been able to play with a lot of different bands as a guest, like the Allman Brothers, Warren Haynes, Government Mule, uh, Widespread Panic, Blues Traveler, uh, a lot of different crossover bands, not necessarily jazz groups. My music has never really been considered straight ahead contemporary jazz, but sort of a combination of different instruments. Um, I use mandolin, banjo, a lot of guitar, a lot of vocals, and we just sort of reach a large audience just playing what I call music. We work so hard in our career and uh, to get the sound that is us. We're always trying to have our own sound. So we want it to be reproduced as closely um, to what's natural, to what the sound really is. And we spend our whole life working on our sound. So when, you, when I'm gonna be playing into a microphone, I want the microphone to really represent what my sound is on a saxophone. I don't want it to change. I want the microphone that will absolutely capture what I do on my horn with my mouthpiece, my reed combination, and my saxophone. <laughs> When I first played the Dragonfly, I realized, wow, now I'm playing a microphone that really captures what I'm doing. I can listen to it back and it sounds like I'm in the room playing. And it doesn't sound like a reproduction. Very few mics, if any, can do that. And so to be able to play into this mic, and this is my mic. This is what I use. This is what I record on, on my records. I take it with me. Whenever I overdub and I play in someone else's record, I'm using this microphone. For me to have that freedom to concentrate on what I do and not worry about the sound is crucial to us as a player because when somebody's listening to a CD, they want to hear who you are. They want to hear your sound. And so the Dragonfly has been a real breakthrough for me, microphone-wise, because we don't have to do anything with this mic. It goes direct to what we're doing, what we're recording on, and we don't have to alter the sound. We don't have to go in the studio and say, all right, now we got to build up the sound. We have to enhance it. We don't have to do any of that with a Dragonfly, and that's huge. I called my CD Dragonfly because I wanted to use something, a name of something that I could actually have a picture, I could put it on t-shirts, I could put it on hats, I could sort of make a whole thing about it. And we'd been using the Dragonfly microphone and we thought, let's just call the album Dragonfly. And so we did. And I painted a little Dragonfly, put it on the cover. I'm not sure what we'll name the next record, but um, regardless of what we name it, we will be using the microphone to record, believe me. Yeah. 